much as I'd like to be able to do some uh, woodworking projects here today, um, I just I have some wood, but I don't have any projects, so I'm gonna have to go back on some of the earlier projects here that you have not seen. Well, I haven't been doing any woodworking projects lately because there isn't anything to build. But I would like to show you some vi uh, video photographs and so forth of the handicap ramp here that I built in 2003 for my mother-in-law who has since passed on and um, well you know it's going to come in handy when I get uh, older than I am now <laughs> because uh, I'm having difficulties getting around so in another 10 years if I'm still around I'm going to be probably using this very same ramp here what it did is we built it out of two by um, two by eights, pressure treated, and we have four of those stringers. You and you'll see it in the pictures here that are coming up. And uh, pressure treated four by fours for the rails, and Douglas fir for the crosses to match the rest of the deck. The original deck was eight by twelve, so it ended up right here. This deck I built, this is the original rails, I have not replaced any of this wood. This is Douglas fir, this is pressure treated. I built this in 1986, one year before my son was born. The ramp, however, is pressure treated three quarter inch plywood. And up at the top there is uh, Douglas fir, right through here. It's the same as with that, so what I just did is I added on to it and added the uh, the rails and so forth. Originally the rails came, the, this rail here came right across here. You can see where I mitered it here. And that was the end of the deck and then when I added the uh, handicap ramp, we just cut that off and there was an opening and we added this beam right here. The first part of the deck was built entirely by myself. The handicap ramp, I built it and my cousin's husband, who is a carpenter, helped me with a lot of the angles because I'm not really good at angles. I've improved but I'm still not good. The hardest part of making this was to get the angle because this is not in the ground, this is laying on top of the ground. Getting this angle to taper right down and get the right pitch it took a little while to get that, but uh, we've got it. So anyways, there's some pictures of how this thing went together. So if I don't bore you too much, sit back and hopefully maybe you might get uh, some hints as to how to build a handicap ramp. Because we all get old sooner or later. The ramp is going to be approximately 12 feet long. At that little mark that I showed you on the deck floor, to the end of the deck is 8 feet. We're going to come out approximately 2 feet on this end, even with the bottom of the stairs. So it'll give me a 12 foot ramp, and the slope shouldn't be too bad. And then what we're going to do, from about this point here, we're going to have a 4x4 four four here. We're cutting this all out. This is going to be a platform. We cut out some pieces over here. For the platform framing, that has to go in first. We got the square made as you can plainly see. What we have to do over here now is to in each corner here, I'm gonna dig into the ground as low as I can go so we get the four by fours in there. You're probably wondering why I got a 2x8 uh, hanging off the side of the uh, deck on the railing up here. Well, that's my measuring point from this point down to the ground, which you can't see from here very well. Uh, the length of my poles, my posts, right here, which I'm going to cut right now. The distance is 57 inches to be exact. had a screw up over here I had to go and uh, 
add four inches on because I messed up on it. Thinking about the rail, I forgot about the piece that goes across the top here. And uh, we're just putting it up here. Sam is going to come over and help me with the angles here. Because once you cut these, and my luck, I'll cut them wrong. And then uh, I'll have to Mickey Mouse it to get it to fit in there. This way, better safe than sorry. So I figured the ramp comes out, there's the angle right there. I already walked up it and it didn't seem to be too bad. So uh, we can live with that, I think. Like I was originally going to do, come out even with the rail, because there's going to be a little rail here and a little rail here. Deckings, I got two and a half inch decking uh, nails. We're looking good here. Yeah, we're gonna make this look good anyhow. Here, Sam and I made these crosses up here. Still in all, as you can plainly see, we have plenty of room to get up here. <laughs> 